Well, we want to extend a warm welcome to everyone that's joined us on this special Q&A call today featuring any questions that you might have about Aquaware 4. So imagine intending what you would love for your body, for your mind, spiritual transformation, for your life through the programmability of water and start realizing that the impossible is possible. We like to call Aquaware 4 our transformational first aid kit for the 21st century. Everyone has heard the Nike commercial, Just Do It. Well, our spin on it is, just use it. You won't be disappointed, and life will never be the same for you. Uh, my name is Karen King, and with us today is my co-host Salma, of course, modern-day mystic and the program developer of Aquaware, Peter Shank, and our affiliate and tech manager, Stacy Critchfield. Today is about getting all of your questions answered about this unique, wonderful piece of software called Aquaware that has literally changed thousands of people's lives. You know, we know all too well the ability of Aquaware to change lives because our own lives have changed because of it. We have been touched by sorrow and pain, but also true abundance and clarity. The one true standby to get us through the ebbs and flows of our own lives has been this literally life-changing program. You know, I love the word serendipity. And it's one of my favorite words. I don't know why I love it. Maybe it's the flow of the syllables or the meaning behind it, but it's just like a great word. You know, and we can, can you know, really attest how serendipitous events can change our lives. Now, things started changing for Karen and I, you know, as Telesum and our hosts and producers about a year ago. We have interviewed over 300 guests as part of our shows. We're always looking for, you know, that guest speaker to bring to our listeners that, you know, are fascinating and unique and be a real game changer in people's lives. Well, you know, we found that speaker that held these qualities, but so much more. It seemed the universe provided Karen and I what we needed when we needed it. And I believe that serendipity is something that happens to us only if we are ready to see it. Now, looking for a guest, we got a partner that brought us an unbelievable product that bridges technology with nature to infuse your intentions into the molecular structure of water. Now, how cool is that? Now, by bridging science with nature, this unique and innovative system goes way beyond anything you may have experienced. The testimonials as to the results people themselves are getting using this product, you know, are really incredible. Everything from, you know, saving a dying dog or being able to play the guitar again or part of a beauty regime, looking and feeling 10 years younger. It's all there and so much more. So I know there are so, so many new people on this call that may not be familiar with Peter Schenk and his work. So let me give you a short introduction to him. Modern-day mystic Peter Shank is part of the new generation of spiritual visionaries who are on the cutting edge of consciousness and awakening. He's a very contemporary energy healer, research engineer, and software designer whose programs and services have united people from around the world to feel awakened, abundant, connected, confident, proud, and deeply nourished from the inside. He has worked in many different higher dimensional realms, to create a variety of water and consciousness designed software pro products that easily structure and program water back to the pristine purity and aliveness it once was so it can enhance everyone's health, wealth, and well-being. It's easy to believe that life just happens to us, but it's not until we recognize that we are at choice every moment of every day that things truly change. Thanks for joining us on this very special call, Peter Shank. Karen, Salma, Stacy, thank you for having me. I'm ready to uh, really dig in and uh, answer some of these deeper questions that people may or may not have. Mm -hmm. Well, it's always a pleasure having you, Peter. But, you know, let, let me take the first couple of questions here. Um, and, of course, we're going to be going to our, our listeners. And so on the line, you know, if you're on the phones, you press star 2. And, of course, if you're writing in on, you know, from the webcast, uh, you know, there's a question submission box. Just uh, enter your question in, and we're going to try to get to as many as we can in our time together. Um, Peter, you have spent 10 long and, I'm sure, sometimes exhausting years bringing awkward to the people around the world. 
How would you describe what aquaware is and what and how can it really you know help people when in the environment are the possibilities endless? I don't even know where to begin, <laughs> but you know aquaware is a labor of love um when the day I woke up, I knew I was here for something, and with my technical background and this new emerging metaphysical mind um i knew i had to create something and you know the day that i saw dr omoto's work everything changed i had the idea i had the uh the mind to create it and then of course over the years um it's evolved into its current iteration which is aquaware 4.0 you know if i had to describe it in a sentence or less it's it's literally um, a piece of software that will change your life completely and utterly. And the only thing that is required of the user is to think outside the box. The people that generally come in contact with me um, have have really been down every other road. They've exhausted monies. They've exhausted their time. Um, they've dealt with other individuals and products that just don't achieve the results that they want. And I'm kind of like the last train stop before they go off the cliff. Um, Aquaware is a tool that is really to be used um, as a personal transformational tool, not only internally to the body, but externally to the body, and more importantly, in the environment. Um, you know, the the current version has 700, over 700 pre-canned intents. It has amazing advanced features, one of which um, is probably the coolest, which is the ability to have the user write their own intent, thereby directing a binary number, which is its purest form of the intent that source would understand, um, and being able to consciously direct your intent as a number into water. Um, you know, I can't say enough about it. You can read the testimonies. Um, but in order to engage uh, a tool as powerful as Aquaware, you really need to think outside the box. What does that mean? If you were to purchase Aquaware from a conditioned mind, it would just look like any piece of software with mind-blowing graphics on it. But if you approach it from an unlimited tool, um, the first time you open it up, if you open your heart up, it's like you know looking at a child, your child for the first time. You know, it's a consciousness behind behind the software. It's just not zeros and ones a microprocessor. You know, you're you're dealing with source energy, you're dealing with vibration, you're dealing with frequencies all brought to you in a very simple to use software package. And if you allow it to breathe and breathe back to it, um, you get caught on the aqua or bug is what we call it. You're you're hooked. I mean you're just overwhelmed and amazed and once you start achieving you know, little results, it just pushes you further. I mean, um, you know, I've worked with both Karen and Salma and, and a lot of the other Telesama hosts over the year, over the, the last year. And I mean, sometimes when they open up the lines, you just hear this, this crazy energy coming out from, you know, whatever product we're doing, but especially Aquaware 4. And, you know, I, I remember comments like, uh, you know, the water's moving on its own, it's crawling, it's bubbling. Um, when you enter into that source energy realm, you know, bizarre things happen. Um, it's just the nature of what you're dealing with, but it's all very high vibrational and beautiful. Mm. Um, Peter, we wrote two reports, um, one called The Power of Intention and one on The Power of Water that are part of an informational video series that we're giving to people over the last little while. But I'd like to hear from you, Peter. Why are these two superpowers so important in our lives? Why do they fit so well together? Um, I've heard the phrase, water is the past and water is the future. What does that phrase mean to you? Water contains the memories of everywhere it's ever been. Okay, It's the perfect catalyst for intention, meaning, you know, at it, it, its very basic level, um, on a scientific level, it's actually pretty simple, but yet, you know, as humans, we're made up of 60 to 80 percent water, depending on what and where you read. Um, so it just makes sense that, you know, if you could find a way to first 
blank slate the water, which is removing the memories and the programming that's in it, and then have a way to instill a frequency which carries an intent with it, um, you know, it's the perfect catalyst for change. Mm-hmm. It is very much so. Um, Stacy, uh, you know, you're our affiliate manager and our tech support person, so mm-hmm. uh, we want to welcome you to the show. So, Stacy, tell us why Aquaware is important in your own life. Now, what, what sort of things have you used Aquaware for, and share some of the results you receive when using it. Oh, I kind of have really gotten dependent on it because it's one of those things if um just kind of feeling blah. Even I think Monday was a really kind of anxious energy day for me, and I'm, I am i don't usually have much of that anymore. But instead of just kind of wallowing in my own misery, I thought, oh, there's an intent for that. So I ran um, anxiety and overwhelm, and within probably a half hour, as I kind of sipped the water, I didn't really drink it fast. I was like, oh, yay, I'm me again. Sorry we did that to you. <laughs> We've kind of all been kind of in that, that mode the last little while. But it's but a thank surprise God we got Aquaware to pull us through. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Remember the time we were talking to her and she was calm and cool and she was saying, oh, my gosh, she had such a, a terrible day and we couldn't believe it. We were saying, oh, yeah, she's just saying that, but... She sounded really, you know, really cool and, you know, and she was dealing with putting out some fires and she was just, you know, like doing it. So we were surprised and, you know, that is that is certainly the power of um, aquaware. So good mm. stuff, good stuff. Um, so okay. to talk to Peter or any of us folks, press star two on the phone if you're on the phone and if you're on the computer, write your questions in the submission box. Um, We're going to get into that right away. So, again, if you're on the telephone, you have a question, press star 2. If you're on the webcast, just type in your question. And here we have our very first question on the phone. And it's Holly. Holly, welcome to the call. What's your question? Hi. Uh, Thank you very much for having us. Um, I really want to know how much attention do I need to hold on the water? Am I glancing at it? Am I glaring at it? Great, great, great question. Okay. You know, that that is a great question, and I can't, you know, articulate this enough. Um, Aquaware does all of the work. The only thing that is required of the user at the speed of thought, mind you, is to put your attention on the target water. That's it. So the intentions in Aquaware 4 run for 44 seconds. Uh, bathing and showering run for eight minutes. Okay, there's no sound that comes out of the computer. Um, the frequencies you may or may not feel, um, but the only thing that is required, Holly, is where you put your attention. The intention goes, and it happens at the speed of thought. There's no thought involved. There's no, you know, looking at the water because remember, Aquaware works as well as the glass of water next to your computer as it does at the case of water in your neighbor's house across the planet or a cup of coffee on Mars. Where you put your attention, the intention will go. The only thing that is required of you is that mental connection between the intention and the target water. Aquaware does the rest. Okay, and and through each, are you able to hear me still? Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, through each of the three um, processes, the uh, water prep, user prep, and then the uh, nucleating, whatever the intent is. Um, so once you do one of those, if you're doing all three, you're you're so good. You don't have to do each one separately. I, I just each one individually. To that. You always have to put your mind on the target water, whether you're running any combination of the three or just one of them. You know, okay. That mental connection is always required. Okay, so when when the water is um, uh, clearing out, water prep, excuse me, um, I'll put my attention to it. And then when it goes to user prep, I'll put my attention to it. Is that is that what yes. you mean? Yeah, okay. exactly. All right, great. Um, would I have a chance for another question? I don't know, oh, you know sure. how many other callers. Go for it. Go ahead. Sure. Okay. Yes, go for it. Can, go ahead. You overdo, can you do overdo the number of QLSs that you do 
it, um, you know, I'm feeling fine. I've been kind of going gung ho. I'm feeling good about it. Um, you know, I, I'm not seeing any um, adverse effects in my body because of what I feel would be overdoing it. Um, what are your thoughts on that? So, uh, you know, when the um, when the manual was written, there were some very lenient guidelines um, that are given to potentially avoid detox, and I had to really generalize them, Mm -hmm. um, you know, when when kind of thinking about it, because everyone is different. You know, what works for me is not going to work for you. Um, Karen and Salma have their own results. Stacy gets her results. What I always tell people is is caution, just heed caution. Aquaware is a very high vibrational tool, and when you Mm -hmm. are dealing with the higher realms of vibration, the physical body is instantly brought to that level, but the physical body's not, and that that's where the detox happens. You know, if you are starting out with Aquaware, and and you know you're you put the power level at seventy percent, and you create a QLS with, you know, seven intentions and drink it, chances are you're probably going to have a horrible detox, and it's not going to be pleasant. So okay. you know, it's like anything else. If if you feel that cranking it all the way up. You're not seeing any adverse effects, but you're getting results. Well, that that's fine. Then then, then continue okay. that momentum. If you know you're a beginner um, and you you turn it up a little bit and you're feeling tired, lethargic, just just kind of throttle back a little bit. Now I have now you have to remember Aquaware Four has many more safety features built in that you don't see at work. Um, one of those is um, the power level resets after every intent. Um, on many occasions in three in 3.1, people would use Aquaware somewhere in the environment and they would turn it all the way up to 100%. They would forget about it. They'd come back, they'd run um, something else, and then they'd drink that water at 100%. And it would just blow their socks off. They're like, you know, the <laughs> detox starts. Um, I, I also have people now that because of these um, safety features that are built in, um, they they are cranking stuff up at 100%. And they're running, you know, three or four different types of QLSs per day with seven different intents and nothing's happening to them. That is another safety feature that's built in. Okay. Aquaware is consciousness. Okay. It will ultimately decide what is or is not good. We just lost Peter. We just lost Peter. What? No. Just do that. We just lost you for a little bit there. Two of my Potential love. Oh, okay. Um, I said some. Okay, Peter, you're breaking up. They come, they come to me and cranking it all up. I don't know if you can hear us, Peter. Maybe. Okay, let's try that. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, we don't hear him at all. Somebody's cranked up maybe Aquaware too too high. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, if you can hear us, maybe um just hang up and, and redial. Me, that might be yeah, the best. I'll come in again. I can comment to the detox. I'm pretty sure, sure. go ahead. I started yeah, out a little <laughs> I'm pretty sure I started out with a little too much. I'm kind of one of those people that, you know, if I can have it all, I'm gonna go for it all and not take any warnings seriously until I have the flu twice in two weeks. And I don't think it was the flu. <laughs> no, we know what it was, don't we, Stacy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's the, can, are you able to hear me? I don't know if you – okay, I'm not sure if I was muted or yeah. not. You're, you're good. Um, yes, that you're was good. kind of um, – oh, my back. God. So Peter is back. All right. So, so um, what I was saying was so, sometimes – you know, I'll get an email or two, and people will say, "Well, you know, I'm I'm cranking up Aquaware. I'm I'm running, you know, three or four different types of QLSs per day, and I'm not I'm not getting any results." Um, so some of the the advanced security features within Aquaware are, um, you know, some of them are physical programming, some are are intent based, but Aquaware um, ultimately will really decide what's going to work for you and what's not. Um, some intents just don't work for people and some are just mind-blowing. Um, 
But, uh, you know, along those lines, um, what I tell the people that aren't getting results is you're, you're overdoing it. You're, you're shutting down the program before it even has a chance. I mentioned earlier on one of the questions that when, as soon as you open up Aquaware for the first time and start seeing uh, the unlimited ability that you have at your fingertips, it's very overwhelming. And, you know, that can be, um, that can entice people to play, you know. So anyways, I always come back to the two, two things. There's two of my favorite intents. One is love under human potential. I tell people if you're not getting results in anything, you're definitely going to get it with this. And you run it at 40% on a glass of water three times a day and watch what happens to you within seven days. The second one is under cleanse and rejuvenate is general. And that is a fantastic one to use inside the body or in the environment. Um, again, 40% internally in the body three times a day. Um, in the environment, you know, you can crank it up to whatever you want. Just watch your plants. They explode in, you know, whatever fashion they would. Um, kind of like miracle grow on steroids. Mm. Okay. Did that answer your questions, Holly? Oh, it sure does. Sure appreciate it. And I'm looking so forward to um, playing with the possibilities of this. Thank you so much, Peter. Oh, thank you. Holly in. Thank you, Holly. And Peter, I can attest to that too. That that love intention. Uh, it. You know, I was in really kind of like a really kind of a dark and overwhelmed place um, over the Christmas holiday when I had a couple of my brothers passed away. And that love intention, I feel very, very strongly, and one with a broken heart, um, got me through that and trying to, you know, build on my future again. So that's a really strong one. Okay, um, we've got, uh, I'm going to go to the uh, dashboard here. Um, we've got Joanne from Florida. She's got kind of like three questions. So, well, let's get to them one at a time. Uh, so, Peter, she's saying, do certain categories of intentions work more effectively if general or specific? For example, health and the well-being versus a specific issue. Again, you have to play with it. There is no recipe for what works for you. You have to. It's a discovery process. Okay, so I can tell you in the morning that I run these three intentions in a QLS. Um, at this particular time, and these are my expected results, and it happens, and you're going to use that recipe, and you know what? It's probably not going to work. I can't stress this enough. Aquaware is a program that is designed to have you think outside the box. Find the recipe that works for you. What works for you is not going to work for someone else. I can't tell you um, what's going to work for you. It's a discovery process. You play around with it. you got some really, really cool stuff in there. Um, and once you find something that works and you start getting those little results, your own intuition is going to pop in and say, oh, wow, okay, this is what I'm going to do now. And before you know it, you know, you're off to the races. I want to just give an example of what Peter is just saying, is my mother has had asthma all of her life since she was 10 years old. She's now 86. And so, of course, it's one of those things that she wanted to, to get rid of permanently. And we tried the asthma intent for a long time. Nothing happened. But, gee, when I went to the bronchial intent under conditions, all of a sudden she's getting great results. So, again, I wouldn't put those two things together. It's asthma. It's bronchial. I thought it was two different things. But playing with it, then she got the results. So, again, you've got to be like a kid in the candy store, right? Like Just play and experiment and say, hmm, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah, really. So Absolutely. That kind of um, that, that's because how we sometimes if you think you think this is your problem, but in reality it's not. It's something totally different. Right. Well, it, it, it's like you know when, when I do personal sessions with people, um, you know sometimes they'll say, oh, "I got this pain in my shoulder," and you know what I do is I see the origins of the pain. They're seeing the attachment. I see the root cause, and a lot of times it can be outside the body. A lot of times it could be, you know, in their left pinky or their right earlobe. Um, and once it's removed, um, you know, your life changes right. instantly. Right. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so, okay, so let's get back to Joanne. Okay, her second part is, if I do a customized intention for me and for anyone else who has the same condition, example, cataracts, do I need to do anything differently? Again, you know, it kind of brings us back to the first one. What works for you may or may not work for somebody else. But the cool thing with the 
writing your own intention is you have the power to tweak it. On the pre-canon test, you can't tweak it. So let's just say, you know, I was writing an intent for blood pressure. Um, I would write something like, uh, you know, um, produce optimal results within the body for blood pressure, something along those lines. And I might get fantastic results, but maybe my brother uses it and he doesn't see any results. So we change, you know, uh, the, the intent a little bit, like, in the body with, um, you know, you want to stay away from things like I, me, and names. Um, but, you, you know, you tweak the intent a little bit, and boom, you're getting results for another person. So, you know, you, you, again, it's all about trial and error. You know, Thomas Edison um, didn't, you know, he, he took him a thousand and one ways to figure out how a light bulb actually worked or how not to do it wrong. It's the same thing with aquaware. You know, you, 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 you play with it until, you know, you find out exactly what works for you. Okay, and then the last part of her question is, can I add a few drops of a specific intention and structured water to a larger bottle of non-intention water, and does it work by entrainment? Now, generally, equal or lesser portions will, will take on the intent. Um, trying to manipulate something larger won't work because what you're trying to manipulate, um, you know, still has the memories and the structure of wherever it's been. But if you were to take, for say, if you were to charge a one-liter bottle of water with a specific intent and then dump that into one liter or less, generally, more so than not, it will take on the intent. Um, but trying to dump that into two liters won't work. Okay. All right. Okay. So hopefully that <clears throat> helped you out, Joanne. Thank you for your question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was just going to add to that is that, you know, if I haven't programmed quite enough water, and I've got, let's say, maybe, I don't know, two, three ounces left in the glass. And I thought, oh, gee, I want a little more. I'll add more water to it. And that water, the, the additional two to three ounces, will typically take on that intention. So do I have that right, Peter? Is that what you were yes. referring to? Okay. Yes. But if you try and add that to a larger body of water, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you still have a little bit in your glass and you want to add more, that, that works fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so but, let's go ahead. Um, you know, I'm, I also try and tell people that the um, volume of water that you are um, charging doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. So if you feel like, you know, you use one in ten three times a day and you're, you find yourself charging the, a different bottle of water three times a day, just, just do a gallon of it. It doesn't matter. Right. Awesome. Okay, we have another live caller. Um, looks like uh, Judith Arnold, you're on the line. Yes. Uh, oh, sorry. Is that Judith? Who are we speaking to? Oh, uh, this is Gary. <laughs> oh, Gary. Sorry. Hi, Gary. Hey, Gary. Hi. I just submitted a couple of questions via your uh, your box online. Mm -hmm. Did you okay. get them? Um, okay. Yes. Yeah, from Gary. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. You want to read those I up? I think I've got one of them. Um. Okay, um, so Gary, question, Peter, was um, how can aquaware work without using an oscillator to reproduce the intention frequency? That's all proprietary. Why is the oscillator needed? It's all proprietary. It's proprietary, and I don't get into the inner workings of what I create. Okay. We call it magic. Yeah. <laughs> call it what you want. Yeah. Who cares? Who cares how the microwave works? It warms up my breakfast. Yeah. And he's also okay. about some uh, university experiments to verify results. You've got the Russians, aren't they, working on something, uh, a Russian couple or something like that? That Yeah, that paper's already be... been published, and uh, I, I, I think it's on the website now. Under uh, There's a dumbed-down version of it that um, I had them do. Um, but, it, you know, the uh, the results from the Aquaware 3 that the test were ran on will be published in the book, I believe, in the second quarter this year. And then uh, the names of the people that actually did the testing will be uh, released uh, on that. Okay. Okay. Do you have any other questions, Gary? While we've got you. Yeah, on I have. Call? I have just just one more. Uh, once the um, once the water um, is 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 drunk, uh, you know, after the intention has been put into it, 
how then is that water able to manifest within the body or I, I presume impregnate the rest of the water in the body that has not that does not contain the intent I mean how is it able to do what it does in bringing forth the manifestation once that water is drunk well it depends right so the source works differently than aquaware versus the 12th project but we'll stick to aquaware um, water inside the body vibrates at all different levels it's really based on body function that's why I'm very adamant about people not programming water inside the body directly with aquaware or any other tool um, you can really um, you know shift the balance um, of the internal workings of your body once the water is programmed and it's inside your body again you know we're talking about frequencies and source energy it's just thereby directed to do what it needs to do because water communicates right um, Gary yep. water communicates the water that you drink is communicating with the, the, the water in your cells in your body and so if the water you have programmed is vibrating at a higher frequency, it will go to that part of the body that needs to vibrate at that same level. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? So, yeah, I was thinking that the um, the uh, the four ounces of intention water was reproducing itself, that the intention was being reproduced and in, you know and enlarged so that it took took over the, the 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 entire body. But that's apparently not the case. It doesn't. It depends what the intent is. It's always very targeted. Okay, so it just targets a particular part of the body then? Well, it depends what the intent is. Okay. You know, um, something like uh, social lubricant, right, that's not going to target the entire body. That's going to probably go to an area of the brain that, um, or a person's an introvert, and it's just going to, you know, chemically change them to be an extrovert for the duration of the intent, however long they intended to do that. I got a guy that, uh, when we were, uh, um, experimenting with the early, early beta versions of Aquaware. He would uh, he would charge the kegs at his college party with uh, social lubricant, and uh, everybody would just turn into an extrovert. And, you know, there's other uh, testimonies, I believe, in some of the teleseminars where people would charge uh, five-gallon um, Poland Spring water in, in the office with... Uh, you know, something like um, success in every endeavor or, you know, just cheery mood or whatever. And everyone was really productive in the office. In the office. And, you know, that that's the classic example of them not knowing their, their programming, you know, their drinking programs water. Um, so, I mean, you know, it just goes on and on. Selma, why don't you tell your story about when you worked at the Homeless Foundation? Yes, that's right there, too. So, you know, you have a lot of people that are in and out of the office, and I thought, well, okay, I'm going to try this, like the social lubricant, you know. So, And there's always, I did it through the coffee because, you know, a lot of people, there are probably a couple hundred people that come in, you know, part of the morning or afternoon who drink the coffee, right? I thought, I'm going to try this. So four days, everyone was polite and greeting each other. Hi, Selma, this, that, other staff members and everything else, you know. That was great. One day I... I uh, I had to go to a different kind of meeting. Coming back, like all oh, hell broke loose. So I had to phone the, you know, nine one one, and yeah. you know, things were just going away. And I'm going. And don't you wish you would have done that intent moments, that day? Pardon me. <laughs> don't you yeah, wish you would have continued with that intent? Yeah. I know, and I'm thinking, well, you know, you know, is, is this a message from the universe or something? I mean, it was unbelievable. For four days, it was straight. It was like that. The day that I didn't, um, you know, this is what happens. Like. Oh my gosh! Oh, I've got but, to um, and then, and then, I'm sorry, sorry the next day that I tried that again, everyone was just like back to normal again. So I'm not sure. All I know is that wow, you know. And I keep telling people, you know, this is what happened. They just, are you, you know, are you sure? And I says, yeah, I'm positive. So <laughs> it's one of those you shake your head and thinking, you gotta yeah. believe. Yeah. Gotta um, believe. But Gary, I, I want to get back to your original question with um, the university stuff. Um, uh -huh. Early, uh, I think in November last year, I was contacted by a woman who uh, is coming out with a book, and her partner is a scientist, and they were, um, you know, they're writing this, this book on the, the power of intention and how it uh, affects water, and they came across my product, and they were totally blown away. And during their testing, and I, I do have a, um, I can put you particularly in contact with them if you send me an email. Um, during their testing, um, with regular modalities on how water holds intention, they say that um, 
water won't hold in tension for more than 30 seconds. And they use some highly expensive pieces of equipment. I don't know what you call it. Once I put you in contact with them, they'll tell you. Um, but when they used aquaware on the water, um, the intention didn't go away over any amount of time. It was very, uh, their findings were interesting. And they also, um, they did publish, they did release to me a white paper on their initial testing, um, which was pretty complicated for the normal Joe to understand. So I asked them to dumb it down, and they did. Um, that was released on the NDM website under the white papers. And you, you can go and check out that, you know, right away. Peter, have you uh, have you patented this technology, and if not, why not? I mean, because uh, I mean, this I don't think this technology exists anywhere else in the world. It doesn't. So, so I mean, have um, you patented so, so, it? I mean, so for, for so, protection or? So there's okay. there's a couple things that um, and that's a great question. Thanks for answering that. Um, one, I'm really a one man operation. Um, you know, I'm I'm just I'm always busy. Um, the patenting process. Um, to get something pushed through. I don't know what it is, but it takes a long time. The right. patent pending process is a little bit easier um, because that, that's just there and it stays forever. But um, you also have to understand, too, that a lot of why this happens is because of me as an individual and what I've been endowed with as a gift. Okay? Um, you know, to, you know, the, the aquaware, all the software is wrapped in a necro bit encryption. It can't be, re, you know, reverse engineered. And even if it was, the code that's inside there, the algorithms that I've created, wouldn't make sense to anybody anyways because, you know, um, from the analytical side of programming, you know, everything is zeros and ones. It's all, you know, very neatly done. But then there's a metaphysical side. And I've been very successful at meshing those two in code. And there you have it. You know, what are you actually patenting? Are you patenting me? I don't know. Can you do that? Are you patenting an algorithm within Aquaware? Well, sure, I could do that. Um, but it wouldn't make sense to anybody. It makes perfect sense to me, and that's what makes the magic happen. Hmm. Okay. And and you've been in a different realms there too, Peter. Like you, you're you know like um, Saint Germain and the Akashic Records. Um, so you all the rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, the rabbit hole. So it's you know, and you're also an energy healer. So it's all that, and you've been you know downloaded with a gift. So it's all that combination, right? So it's not just you know kind of the science part. It's also you know this other aspect of it, the metaphysical part. And right? that's why we say this bridges you know science yeah. and spirituality. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. You know, if you know can the, that. The, the the world as it exists today is is very very different than the way it existed a long time ago, and you know the the means by which we communicate um, with people from around the world is very different than it did you know once upon a time, and I've taken the best parts of how people of old used to do things, and I am now you know running that in the current form of uh, reality or technology that we can understand. Mm-hmm. Now that Gary's well, totally confused. <laughs> I can just hear it in your voice there, Gary. <laughs> Gary, I, 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 you know, I, I, I worked for a large investment bank for a long time, and um, I've, been, I've been in the belly of the beast for a long time. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, for me to keep my marbles together with this exploding world and on the metaphysical side, and then you know, continually doing the day-to-day stuff takes takes a lot of the great effort. But um, mm-hmm. you know, if you're looking for a straightforward scientific way of how you know something like this is even possible, um, there is no answer. There is no straightforward answer, and there never will be. You know, I suggest you read *The Power of Intention* by Wayne Dyer. I suggest you look at Dr. Omoto's work. I mean, I've taken really the best of what those two individuals have and I just moved it light years beyond um, you know what they thought or think is possible. Or you could download those free reports and read them because we've got a lot of information in there as well mm-hmm. uh, yeah. that touches yep. on all of that. So, yeah. And I remember intent- working sorry? I'm sorry. No go ahead does, Jerry. Does the intention have to be very specific in order for it to work, or can it just be general 
and let the universe decide how it's going to carry out the manifestation? It depends. Again, it's trial and error. Sometimes you can get very specific. You know, in the manual, I offer some guidelines on what you should and or shouldn't do. I'm coming out with a white paper um, probably in the next week on how to perfect a customized intention and some, you know, some rules and do's and the don'ts of what, you know, will work great in Opera and what won't. Mm-hmm. Okay. But the the, the basic uh, goal here is to do this as many times a day as is necessary until the goal is attained. Is that is that true? I mean... I mean, Generally, yeah. people, you know, it, it really depends, right? I'm not a medical practitioner, okay? Uh, Aquaware and the entire product line that has no point in time been, you know, discerned, looked at by the FDA. So I can't say it does anything because, you know, it is what it is. So if you have a medical issue, uh, you know, first and foremost, you, you follow your doctor's orders, whatever they are. I'm not a medical practitioner. Um, if aquaware water helps you or you're getting results from it, um, that's great. But again, you know, there is no rule. Okay, so aquaware is an unlimited tool, and I, and I press this all the time. You know, you have to think about, you know, un, un, undoing your conscious mind from the conditioning that we've all had since birth to really think in this unlimited potential. So, you know, to ask me a question, you know, how many times should I do it uh, to mm-hmm. achieve results? You know, you just Again, think for right. a second. What works for you? And then, yeah. you know, then you yeah. find your answers. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Very so good. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. Because I know there's a, there's not always, you know, hard and fast rules for this stuff, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm conditioned to think that there's always a specific answer, you let know. Me, let me ask you a question. Sure. Let me ask you a question before you go. Sure. Would you rather be an adult with rules that need to be followed, or would you rather be a child with unlimited potential at your fingertips? Yeah, well, as long as the potential could manifest itself, I would rather be the child. Yeah, absolutely. There you, there you go. Well, you know what, Gary? The reason we're so adamant about this is we have been playing with it for a year now almost. Has it been a year? It's been a year. And we uh-huh. are daily blown away by the results. And, you know, I think a lot of it is, too, letting go of expectations because expectations mm-hmm. are a judgment, right? Or, you know, what I like to say, you know, expect nothing but anticipate everything. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is yeah. something like this actually going to work well for something like prosperity, which is certainly oh. one of the top yeah. goals that yeah. most people wow. have? Well, you know, we, we I, I just did a show, I don't know, a couple months back. I forget who it was with. We did an abundance intent, and, you know, within an hour, someone manifested. Karen, you remember that one? Manifested yeah, like eight or $9,000? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Stacy, you've got a story, too, about Brenny. Yeah, I did a remote session for one of our JV partners just to demonstrate the software, and... um I think it was the next day she had kind of a dead source of income that wasn't really – she was going to actually turn it off, at online stuff. And she got $400, unexpected. And she was over the moon. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, now, now, you know, you remember something, too. And, and you know, when, when you're playing with this stuff, everything is made up of energy. And what people think of, uh, as abundance is just a form of energy. When you have fear innate in your body, it stops that that. Flow. flow and once that mm-hmm. when, once that fear blockage is removed that energy flows in and the universe creates the white paths ahead of your reality to bring in unexpected income you know or whatever abundance means in your life okay and aquaware will re- remove that fear or is that something i have to do myself on my own aquaware will do it for you aquaware okay. does okay. everything it, it, okay. it does everything yeah, yeah. Okay. it takes away all the blocks that you've got that would Stop that intention from manifesting. That's part of the user prep um, yes. process. Yeah, that's what uh, I thought, right? Yeah. So it's yeah, amazing. the second step, yeah. And so, and you, I like looking at the kind of like those sacred geometry symbols, you know, like all the, the purples and the blues and everything else there too. And just like, I just get a kind of like a, I don't know, just you get a, a thrill through my body just, just watching that. 
It's like I'm one with the computer. I want to see the swirls and this and that, and it's just like, okay, you know. And the thing is, it doesn't take very long to do, so. No. Just All right. So it was really great talking thank you, to you, Gary. Gary. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. much for answering my questions, everybody. Thank you so much again. Thank Our pleasure. Thank you. Calling in. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. All right, great. Okay, we've got Alita from uh, Petersburg. Um, Peter, uh, her biggest issue is insomnia, so she uses Aquaware to program her bath water in the evening as the tub is filling with water. I'd like to program water to drink for insomnia, but I don't drink any liquids after dinner so as not to get up all night. Can I go ahead and drink water program for insomnia during the day, or will it make me sleepy during the day? I want to sleep okay, at night so during the day. I, again, you're, you're, you're dealing with an unlimited tool, okay? And my suggestion back to you would be drink the insomnia water before 6 o'clock with an activation period of whenever you go to bed, meaning... Uh, if you're going to go to bed at 9 o'clock, you can drink the water at 5, and as you're drinking it or putting the intention in it, just think, I don't want you to activate internally until 9, you know, whatever local time. Think outside the box, man. That's what this is about. There is no time, space, or distance in the, you know, the principles by which Aquaware is governed. You can put intentions into the future as simple as putting your attention on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay, we have, it looks like Missouri, uh, area code 636. You're on the line. What's your question, please? Yes. Hi, Peter. Are you there? Hi. Where are we speaking Hi. with? Hi. How are you? Good. Who are we speaking with? Uh, this is Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. I purchased 3.1 last November, and I have I have been enjoying it tremendously. A couple of, I guess, insights or questions. Um, like for like laundry water, can we charge that like once in our lives and have it be for every load of laundry we do forever after that instead no. of every day? No. You have to do it every time. Yeah. Sharon, do you do laundry every day? Well, no, but I'm just saying like maybe three times a week. I'm just saying it's just like one of those things that I do often enough that I think, oh, I wonder if I can't just charge it once for every load in the future. No. You have to do it each no. day. Okay. Okay, that, that that answers that question. And then I was curious. I have noticed in working with the product that – Water that I charge for others works better than water charged for myself. So it's like my subconscious, even with the prep, seems to somehow interfere. It depends really, you know, if if you're using, all right, so, again, it's like um, if you have a pain in your shoulder, right, and Mm -hmm. you go to a doctor, he's going to treat the attachment, and that's where the pain physically manifests. But the pain, the energy of that pain is somewhere else in your body, right? So let's say, for instance, you're you're charging, I don't know, some intent, you call them intent A um, for someone, you're using intent A on yourself, okay? Um, mm-hmm. Aquaware is, is, is an intelligence. And in, in that particular intent, for some reason, which only you can discern, um, is not going to work on you. And it's really for your higher purpose why it's not working as effectively on yourself as it is for someone else. Okay. Um, other than that, I really have enjoyed it. I have noticed a, um, a huge, like my plants all winter. Normally my plants are dying off during the winter. This winter they did not die off. And I and I, yeah, I charged them with uh, uh, under the um, general purpose for plants, just general purpose for plants. I mean, that has been, like, phenomenal to me. Like, oh, my God, that's like the miracle I looked at and go, that really works. So because so much of this is, you know, there's so many things in Aquaware 3.1 you can choose from that you're like, okay, well, I don't know if that worked or not. But I can absolutely tell you it worked on my plants. Well, so, there's a there's an interesting case where a woman just uh, left some feedback on the MDM site where – she uh, she wrote, you know, uh, Aquaware is not really working for me, but, you know, I've had termites in my house for X amount of years, and, you know, once or twice a day I would go around sweeping up all the eggs, so I decided to write my own custom intent to get rid of the little creatures, and I charged the wood 
in the house, and I haven't seen any eggs in three plus days. So she got rid of the termites in her house by writing her own intent and charging the humidity and the wood that they feed from to get rid of them. Wow. Okay. So that was, is that with the new program, the 4.0? Yeah. Yeah. Or or can can make it. 4.0. You know, just for clarity, 4.0 is a total different animal. It's a new engine. Um, you know, it still has all the bells and whistles that 3.1 had, except it's much more refined. It's more powerful. It, it takes less time to achieve results, and you know the advanced features in it are just um, you know they're, they are they are. Okay, okay, because that's what I'm really uh, interested in deciding if I want to go up to the 4.0. I've been really enjoying the 3.1, so well, that's I'll why tell I'm you, Sharon, to see the difference. Um, when we heard that Peter was coming out with 4.0, we said really we love our 3.1, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like how could it get any better? And once yeah. we started with it, we were just mesmerized. Mm-hmm. We were mesmerized. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, I was waiting for 4.0 last yeah. year, but I couldn't wait any longer, so I went to 3.1. Oh, okay. <laughs> so now I'm like, okay, I was, I'm, I'm listening to hear what the difference is between the 3.1 and the 4.0. So, yeah. It's, you it's know, I like the idea sure. of being able to. I like the idea of being able to charge more than one thing into a glass of water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and I like the new ones he's got there too, like um, you know, like the vitamins. You could do all the vitamins. He's got the herbal. Oh yeah, that know, like was yeah because that was yeah that was one thing that I was really holding out for was all the vitamins. Oh yeah, he's, he's a lot got of vitamins. those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Peter, it's can them. we charge your water then with four point oh, like for like the homeopathics that we take, like with our own intentions? Sure, if absolutely. It's not pre-programmed with the new one. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I have I have given you the freedom in four oh to be the unlimited being that you are. It's just oh, if you okay. choose to explore it or not, it's really up to you. Okay, that's cool. That's awesome. Okay, that's all my questions. And I okay, thank you so much, you Peter, for all your work. I um, I just uh, I want to address one of the earlier questions we didn't get to about the MAC. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of rumors going out about, you know, there's going to be MAC version, is there not? I get emailed all the time. I want to put the record straight. Okay, my, my schooling in programming is on the .NET framework for Windows. Um, okay, the learning curve for producing something on the Mac, on the iPhone, iOS, on the Android, on the, on um, you know um, on the Mac platform is just is just too steep because I, I'm, I'm my time is so limited um, just to get on the programming aspect that that's where I need to be all the time. So to set the record straight, there is no other platform that this technology is coming out for, okay? Now, there have there are options out there for Mac users. One of them is a program called Parallels, okay? Um, I have recently been shying away from that because you can go out and buy a Windows laptop for $150 refurbished with Windows 7 on, okay? Um, it's the best way to go. Even if you hate the PC, make the extra $150 investment and just get it in the native language that the software was meant to be written on. Now, with that said, um, you know, I have plans a year from now to completely move this technology to every platform out there via a web browser on a technology called SaaS software as a service. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but it is something that my company is definitely exploring as we speak. And basically, what that means is you would log into the MDM website with your unit username and password. Um, It would probably be subscription-based on multi-level. And you would use, you know, modules. You could use an Aqua module or you could use, uh, you know, the source module or whatever. And it would literally run on your web browser on any device, on any OS, anywhere, anytime, you know, utilizing the uh, you know, the uh, AWS Amazon backend or something new from Google. But it would all okay. be in the cloud. I do have a, a, a concern about that, though. With the technology the way it is right now, Peter, you don't need to have an Internet connection, you know? Right. Uh, once you go to that platform, you're going to have to find an Internet connection, and if... Like, for example, here, the winds are always blowing, and it really plays havoc 
with the internet. And, and, and I agree with you. I agree yeah. with you. And so, these, these are these are pros and cons that yeah. you know we're we're weighing. Um, it would yeah. really take you know. Um, so. Yeah. yeah. For now, right and for now. the foreseeable future, everything's on yep. Windows. There is no plans to go to any other platform. Right. Um, Selma, did you have some more questions from the dashboard? Because we've got yes, five um, somebody here. wants to know more about intent cards. Are they saying I can um, I can program myself and take with me anywhere? How long does the effect last? For example, a fear of flying. I certainly know it's heightened because of the airline tragedies recently. If I am on a six-hour flight, will the effects last until my arrival, or should I take lots of them? And if I feel my energy changing, just pull. Uh, another one out. No, it'll last for the duration of the flight. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, and actually, too, you know, when I uh, I do the uh, force field ascended space quite often, and I do it for a particular reason. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I I drink that water before I I go, and I intend for it to last X amount of time, and it always does. So um, it, that's another part of your intention, right, is that you want it to last this long, right? Exactly. But even if you're not thinking in that potential, it'll just do it automatically. Okay, okay. Good. Okay. Um, Sonia from Skilching, she's saying, Peter, hello, dears, it's Sonia here. Can I structure the water with my own source energy? Um. I don't really understand that question. I mean, there's a lot of ways out there that people uh, have been structuring water for millennia. And, and, uh, Monocleware is just another tool in a long line of tools that people have been doing forever. Um, I've just taken it to a new level. I mean, does that answer your question? Yeah, because I think there's more power through your for Aquaware 4. Wouldn't you think something about the power almost like a thousand Buddhists or something like that? Yeah, I mean, I know many many of my personal friends in the world are are masters in their own crafts, and you know the comments that I've always gotten back from them is, you know, Aquaware has more power than ten thousand Buddhist monks, you know, praying around the lake of water because you're dealing with state of the art technology. You're dealing with, um, you know, the power of the microprocessor, and and, and via Moore's law, you know it doubles itself every 24 months. So you're really dealing with, um, you know, something that's never been out there before. Mm -hmm. um, we have one more question here from New York City, area code 347. If you could tell us your name and your question, please. Hello? We can't hear you. Hello? Wonder if they're on mute. No. Hello. Okay. I see their na oh. name. Hello. Can you hear us? Hello. 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 You're on the line. If you could tell us your name and your questions, please. Uh, are, you are you speaking to me, Gus? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I was just online trying to get you guys. <laughs> ah. I didn't realize that. Okay. I'm listening to everything. I love everything. Um, basically, my question is, what about people that are negative and want to use this for their advantage? What happens then? doesn't work. won't work. doesn't work. Oh. Only okay, works cool. for the highest and best good. You know, the graphics will work. You'll, you'll think it's working, but um, Aquaware is a tool of light. It was created out of love. It channels source energy, um, and it's, it's only, it will only be used um, for higher good. That's it. Okay. Uh, I have a Max, which I said you can't. You, you said you, I can't use, but I also have a Ubuntu, E U B U N. Again, the Ubuntu. software all the software only runs on Windows 7, Just with, Windows 8, or 8.1. Okay, so I'll have to invest in a Windows computer. <laughs> you will, <laughs> and you it. will not <laughs> regret that decision. And you want to hear something? I've been uh, before this came out. I was. Uh, Paying uh, eighty dollars a month to have my house balanced, my dogs, my family, everything balanced through frequencies. Basically, ah. are you familiar with that yeah. technology? But you know what? Yeah, yeah you know. 
<laughs> There's probably a half a dozen in tents in Aquaware that'll do it for, you know, one yeah, price, yeah. one low price. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's the best. That's what I like about it right there. Um, what happened, basically, uh, to explain that, when I first signed up with the guy, and this is what I found amazing, is we all have a, our name is unique to us, he said. Yeah. And basically, I gave him my name and my address. And he called me back and told me what was going on with me. Like, he called out, without even knowing me, a pain that I had on my left side, for instance, say, by my appendix or by my, uh, my side over here. He called out that. He would call out things like that. And on occasions, I would, like, uh, I would uh, call him back, and he would give me a, a real quick readout of what's happening at the moment. Like, if my daughter had a breakout on her face, I'd be like, what happened? He would tell me that uh, she yeah, had too I'm, much I, I, I'll right? just tell you this, because I like you. Yeah. You're from the East Coast. It sounds like get rid, of, <laughs> get, get rid of the white stone in your house. The what? The what? White the white stone. stone. What do you mean, white stone? You'll figure it out. Oh, yeah? Okay. Oh, he uh, does this to us all the time. You know? yeah, he he told me about we, my yellow tulip. I said, white yellow tulip. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> white yeah. stone. I'm going to start looking for white stones now. Okay. I'll try that. <laughs> um, <laughs> he is an energy healer. He sees it. You know? Yeah. He tells, He makes us run around thinking, what is that? And all of a sudden, oh, my gosh. He was You don't right. know what it is? Where's you can't, you can't tell me? You can't tell me? i got to go looking for it? You'll yeah. find it. You'll find uh, it. White. Okay. The white you stone. will. You will. Trust me. It might be a couple days later you're thinking, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Just get rid of it? Get rid of it. Yeah, don't touch it. Don't touch it with your hands. Put it into a bag and then uh, just discard it. Okay. Um, but it'll also, play with you. It's going to play with you. It's going to be like, I don't want to go. And it's going to play with your mind. Just be strong and get rid of it. Okay, a white stone. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. One more thing, uh, basically. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, are you familiar with Oregon? Yes. Is it okay to have Oregon around my home? Sure. Okay. Okay. You should get some uh, garlic and wolf bane too while you're at it. Some garlic? Some what? Say it again. Wolf bane. He's playing with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I got to be a little more. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll be investing in this in about a day or so. <laughs> basically, right? and that'll take everything for me. Now, the only problem I'm gonna have now is uh, getting a computer to do it. And so, if I do purchase it, it's gonna come as a download to me. Yes, it'll come it as is. a download in an email. Yep. Awesome. And then I, once I get the Windows, I could just do it through there. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. Awesome. And he's got really cool questions. videos. You know, like he's got videos for everything, like intentions video you want to do. for every step of the way. Wonderful, wonderful. You're just like Peter is just right there with you. Are, are those those seven that you just sent me? Pardon me? Uh, no, oh, the these are right within the Aquaware engine. Um, oh, okay. He has videos there for every step of the process, for yep. everything that yep. you could possibly have a question for. He has a video explaining it. Yep. Like do, awesome. Even like writing in a custom intent, he will walk you right through. Yep. Very simply, it all shows. He shows you on the computer what's happening, what you need to do, and you know, everything is explained beautifully. He's got a lot of time <laughs> right. putting that together. Yeah. I did the money thing, the money one, the money intention one that you you sent for free, and okay. <laughs> I went online. I started everything started bombarding me with uh, <laughs> money. <laughs> you know those websites that offer you money for like four hundred dollars a day, thousand dollars a day, twenty dollars. Oh look at that! Then I'm like, oh no, now what? I said, <laughs> do I take advantage of them? Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> the one that I need. Oh my god, <laughs> it's a little confusing now. So well, we're going to try to entice thing. Peter to do an intention, but. You know, maybe for you know for for the group here, but he might do a madness. We never know, right, Peter? Mm, we could we could do one right now if we want. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, do you have a lot of questions still on the dashboard, Tama? Well, I do, I do. But let's. Well, maybe I'll take a few, um, and then we'll just go into. I that want to thank you after. for your questions, and remember the white stone. Get rid of it. Yeah, oh, get it. rid of it. We'll Trust Peter. Right that's now. that's the whole kind of thing. <laughs> thank you so okay. much, guys. Thank you. you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, Peter, Patty from Phoenix. I do protein drinks in the blender for breakfast. Can I mix up the drink, then do Aquaware on the protein drink, or should I do the water only? Uh, No, you can do the protein. That's fine. I do my coffee all the time. Yeah, I, I program fruit before I eat it. Yeah, so, yeah. There you go. Okay. And then somebody is. Sorry, go ahead. 
No. Nope. Well, I was just going to say, um, you somebody has said something about the uh, the brilliant minds intentions in AW4. Uh, the Mother Magdalene energy and passion seems interesting to me. What exactly happens to me when I seek her energy, or is it I won't know until I try it? Idea. How often should I be doing this? Daily, weekly, monthly? So again, the the idea behind the brilliant mind feature was to take the best attributes of these beautiful people, whether they're alive or passed on, and allow you to put that into a glass of water and drink it, thereby manifesting um, those attributes that they had in life. Now, um, there is no category of you know what the attributes were for each person, and I would treat brilliant minds as you would any other intent. You start off slow. If you want to do one intent, you can drink it one, two, three times a day until you start achieving the results. But, you know, for clarity, they will manifest in your life in a way that I can't discern for you. Now, Mary Magdalene has many meanings and many religions to many people. I just, you know, borrowed or I borrowed for intents and purposes, you know, everything that she ever was. And I programmed it in Aquaware. So when you drink that, the Mary Magdalene intent and Brilliant Minds and the advanced feature of Aquaware 4.0, I have no clue what it's going to do to you. I don't know. But I will tell you this, it will blow your hair back, whatever it's going to do. Yeah. There you go. That's exciting. Yeah, there you sounds go. exciting. Um, before we um, get you to do that intention, Peter, I just want to direct people um, to the special offer going on for Aquaware during this launch. It's only for a limited time. It normally sells for $397.00. And for this special launch, it's 297 That will also include a high-energy download called Navitus. Um, to read more about the offer, click on that special offer link on the dashboard page that you're on right now. Or if you're on the telephone, just write down HTTP colon two forward slashes upwithwater.com forward slash aw 4 hyphen SP, um, and that will take you right to the special offer page where you can see how it works, you can read all the testimonials, and um, and be mesmerized. And I, I wanted to also say, too, the amount of money you can save just by getting this program is unfathomable. So if you're, you know, spending a lot of money on, gosh, so many alternatives or you know, chiropractor visits, or, or, or I could go on and on and on and on and on. This program will save you money in the long run. Um, save you money? It's going to make you money. And Use make you money. Use the money. Time. Time. We tripled our income in one year alone. Tripled it. Um, and <laughs> this is just from doing the financial means, abundance, and success in all endeavors. There's no other reason for that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's really cheap um, in the big scheme of things when you think of what this can do for your life, how much it can save you. Um, so again, go to that special offer link, read more about it, and um, you'll know if it's for your highest good or not. You'll, you'll know. Okay. That's my piece. Okay. All right. So Peter, so what, you know, I can say you're an energy healer and you can sense energy. What, what do you think the, pe- uh, the folks on the call and on the webcast, what do you, what do you figure they need? Stacy, what's on your mind right now? Oh, Stacy. Um, Stacy. Ah, uh, I just blanked. Don't okay. think in <laughs> linear terms. Think in three dimensions. Um, I I think that uh, financial means. I mean, maybe that maybe a. Mm. B- b- abundance? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what? Okay. It, that's what that's what's coming through. Yeah. All right, so we're going to we're going to shake this up a little bit. And if you tell me what you're doing, I can record a little screenshot and include it on the replay. Um I'm I'm kind of torn between doing an aquaware activation or doing my own. Uh and I'm really feeling compelled to do my own which means there will be no aquaware involved. And I don't normally feel like that, but I'm really being pulled in that direction, so I think we're going to do that. 
So what I'd like everyone to do on the call is get a glass of water or a bottle of water. So, Peter, can I just quickly ask, there's a couple of questions there about the, the quality of water, you know, like this this person is asking about, you know, like is it okay to boil just tap water or, you know, would you recommend that she goes out and buys, you know, like bottled no, water specifically? Just regular water. You know, Pardon? I've always told people to get the highest quality water that they can, uh, you know, now, there's a lot of studies out there about bottled water. I find smart water to be one that just kind of holds the intent better. And it doesn't mean for you, you know, tap water could have the same results. Um, I just like to use um, smart water for, you know, purposes that I'm using it for. Okay. So, but you know. Anything would work. All right, so let's rock this. I want everyone to raise their left hand over that glass of water three inches and spread your fingers. In a second, you're going to start to feel energy moving down through your hand. When that energy starts, I want you to think about what abundance means in your life. It could mean, you know, having a fatter wallet. It could mean, um, you know, any, any number of different things. But think about what abundance means to you. Once the energy starts to flow, I want you to put your attention on the water. Now, Energy in physical form or non-physical form will do anything for you as long as you acknowledge its existence. I want you to put your attention on the water and repeat the words out loud, I honor the space in which you exist. The energy flows through your hand on in many ways. It should start increasing once you've acknowledged the water. Again, you're going to drink it in a second, and I want you to understand what abundance means in your life. Go ahead and drink the water, and I want you to notice the taste and the texture of the water. And then more importantly, once it's in your body, I want you to take focus of where it's moving energetically within your body. And again, this is all about abundance and what it means for you. So basically what we're doing, folks, is that the water that we just charged is now putting source on notice, and it's creating light paths ahead of your current trajectory in whatever reality you're experiencing to bring about um, what abundance means for you. And here's the kicker. The universe clearly knows more about what abundance means to you than you do. So when it is delivered, it normally comes within 72 hours, okay? And when it's delivered, it's more mind-blowing than what you originally imagined. That's it. We're done. Thank you, thank you. I love that smooth water. Mm-hmm. And I just used tap water. I'm sorry, I didn't have any smart water. Mm-hmm. Tap water. Mm-hmm. Had a nice All right. <laughs> nice. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Imagine that, right? Well, we want to, you know, like we want to thank everybody for being with us on this special Q&A. And, um, and again, we're going to have another session at 7 o'clock Eastern. Um, so if you think of any other questions in the meantime, pop on back and, yeah, um, come back and join us. Come back and join us and ask your questions. I'm sure you're going to have lots of them. Um, you know, send your friends because they're going to think you're you're talking about what? So just send them on over. Yeah. <laughs> so again, you know, like, keep, sorry, Peter, any 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 final words? Um, you know, if, if you're given an opportunity in life to really experience something that has the potential to change your life, not only your life but the lives of your loved ones and everyone else, um, you know, Aquaware is the tool to do it. It was built out of love. It delivers out of love. And, you know, think outside the box and anything is possible. Mm. We love it. We love the technology. We're Mm -hmm. your biggest fans. You know that. Yep. So, again, thank you, everybody, for joining us. And so, um, you know, be more, love more, live more, never settle for less. Go beyond, everyone, and continue to create amazement. Thank you and goodbye. Thanks for joining us.